Hi, I'm Logan Mercer. I'm the Director of Engineering at Polyswarm. For those of you that don't know, Polyswarm is a threat marketplace where you can share, search, and find samples of malware. Today, I'll be giving an overview of the Polyswarm user interface and a quick description of what we do. So on my screen now is the Polyswarm UI. I'm going to begin by uploading an artifact to Polyswarm for analysis. An artifact in Polyswarm can be a file, a URL, IP, or a domain. When you send us a sample for analysis in Polyswarm, we hand it to our crowdsourced partners. So every name you see on the screen now is a partner of Polyswarms. They each are receiving a copy of the sample that I've uploaded. Now I'm uploading a Polyswarm logo, and so it's not going to be malicious. Um, but every engine here, or analysis software, is going to determine if they believe this sample is malicious or benign. An engine in Polyswarm doesn't have to respond to every sample, and so some of our partners aren't going to respond to this logo. They can choose to re what to respond to by MIME type or by artifact type. So some of our providers only respond to IP URL domain, some just to files. Here are the responses from the providers that chose to assess this PNG. On the left, you can see that 14 engines in Polyswarm chose to respond, and none of them found it to be malicious. Under that, you can see the name of the file and its size. Under that is the SHA-256, and if we scroll down, you can see some actions available. You can rescan a sample, download a copy for yourself, or share it. Links in Polyswarm are permanent, so you could send this to someone else, and later they choose to rescan it. Up top and to the right, you can see the file details page where we've extracted some artifact attributes or metadata for analysis. We begin with the basics, the file name, when we first saw it, its MIME type, and some hashes. We also run some static tools against the file, like EXIF tool, um, PE file, strings. Uh, depending on the MIME type of the file, we'll run different tools. Each of these terms in Polyswarm is searchable. This is the basics of uploading a sample to Polyswarm and seeing our analysis. Next, I'm going to cover the searching in Polyswarm and how to find new malware samples. There are three ways to search for samples in Polyswarm, a live hunt, a historical hunt, and metadata searching. Live hunting and historical hunting are powered by Yara rules. In live hunting, you install a Yara rule. Every time Polyswarm sees a sample that matches that live hunting criteria, we'll send you an alert and you can see a report here. In a historical hunt, you look back through six months of Polyswarm's database for samples that match your Yara rule criteria. In a metadata search, you search for Polyswarm artifacts based on those artifact attributes that we extract about each file. I'm going to show a more in-depth demo on how to do live hunting, historical hunting, and metadata searching in Polyswarm later. That's everything for today. Head on over to polyswarm.network to start scanning and searching.